writing a big idea. Restraint matters when harnessing something of size. The mind tends to shrink when faced with large topics like, hey, let's write a song about death or fate or world peace. You know, let's usually win big awards, but those are tough ones, man. Yeah. The brain wants to, instead, instead of tackling the big problem, the big title head on, it wants to make sense of smaller parts, smaller controllable parts like details. So William Carlos Williams said, uh, no thought but in things. So let, let the bigger topic come out from smaller details. Really? There's a guy who wrote uh, some books on, on practice, Talent Code. He talks about deep and deliberate practice. In the practice realm, chunking means you learn the first eight measures till you got it down, pretty much. Working at the edge of your abilities. And it becomes easy, you gotta move on. Then you learn the next eight measures, maybe 16 measures. Then you go back and pick up the first eight. That's called chunking. Your brain really works good that way. Let the big idea emerge through an accumulation of specific details. Like where were you when the world stopped turning? Well, that's a hell of a thing to have written about, the 9-11. It's like, how, wow, how many songs were written in town when that happened? The one that really worked was Alan Jackson's because he talked about specific details. Like, were you in the yard on, or on some stage in L.A., teaching a class, driving a car down the freeway? Where were you when the world stopped turning? It's easy. So approach it obliquely with details. Description. Description is revelation. Someone said that, I love that. If you can do anything out of this, when you leave this class, is to take some of these principles and listen intentionally to other songs. You, you will learn more from listening intentionally to songs, which you probably do now, but I encourage you to do it even more. And when you get really good at it, you can both enjoy a song and listen to it intentionally at the same time.